right, guys. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? So, let me see. What am I tell you about first? Um, so, I have the jar. The weather jar. That's what we'll call it. And I think I showed you these jars before. Um, you can get them at the um, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. Wishing jar. Now, I don't like the name because we don't want to wish for something, right? We're going to set our intention and we're going to hand it over to the universe to manifest. So, you can put something over this to hide that. Or you can mark that out in a black marker or something. This has a wishing jar on it as well. But like I said, let's mark over that. Um, in this jar, what you can do, you can make this as a weather jar, um, a protection weather jar. Um, and you can just put on put on it what you what you want to manifest. Um, it doesn't have to be nothing extreme, just something basic. So I put home protection from any and all storms. On the inside, um, it's just protection herbs, right? And also, let's see. Hold on. Let me see if I can find. And don't mind my um these gray boxes. These are my storage boxes that you you guys always see in the background. This is where I keep all of my business supplies, right? Hold on. Let me see. What I'm looking for now, I'm looking for um looking at my crystals okay <sighs> all right black tourmaline right you can put one of these crystals inside the jar a black, a black um tourmaline crystal you can put that inside um now for the jars like I said, I do stuff how I want to do it. I do things according to my comfort zone. A lot of people, when they do the jars, they add the water to it and all of that good stuff. It just depends on what type of jar that I'm making, um, you know, determining if I want to add water. If I'm doing a sugar jar and I want something to manifest to me in a fast um, pace, then I'm going to add water. Something like this. I could add water, but then you have to think about if I'm going to put this inside you know water and some of the crystals do not mix you know you're gonna uh, ruin your your stone so you can put the stone inside um, but if you don't want to put it inside you can put the stone like right up against the up against your jar and that'll be fine you can sit it right up you know up against your jar so put your herbs in there these are some more um, herbs that I mixed together, all right? It's like five herbs in here, I think. I'm gonna add some more herbs into the jar. You can add a, if you have a picture of your house, put a picture of your house in there. Um, if you have like paint chips or something from your home, put that in there. Um, pieces of your, your rug, um, you know, you can put that in there. So, like I said, get creative with it, um, with your jars, right? Once you put everything in your jar that you want to go in there, then you're just going to close it and charge it for a few days with your candles. Now, the candles that I use are the same ones that I always use. Um, you have the red the black and the white it's the reason why i use these three all the time red to bring something in in a fast pace black for protection white for good energy okay um before i started any of this with the jar and the candle i use this right here this is just water basic water clean and clear i clean and clear all of my tools this one right here is for protection. So, um, all of these are protection herbs that I have in here. 
this is to bring about the good energy for the water right but that's just what i do you all do um you know what you want to do according to your uh, comfort zone okay um so let's see okay so i told you about the jar so we're gonna go to the candle i'm gonna show you about the candle as well i'm gonna like this too this is just um dragon's blood incense protection all of that good stuff um don't worry about this and that this is some other stuff i was working on um for the candle i have this water right here because i like to put clean clear water in so i have some of this right Hold on, let me open it fill that with water because you're gonna you're gonna see your candle inside okay the good thing about this is you have a leftover bottle that you can put to the side and use uh, you know as a freezer bottle you want to do a freezer bottle um spell on the situation or on a person that's getting on your damn nerves you got a bottle left over ha. all right so we're gonna put that in there right also i have my crystals over here which i clean and cleanse those prior to the video i want to use this um, black tourmaline i'm gonna use it on the um take this one off i want to use it on the outside kind of have it touching right and then we're gonna use this one clear quartz put the clear quartz on the inside now my hands are clean i clean and cleanse um i did a bath prior and then i also still even after i do my bath i still um cleanse my hands and my arms and everything like that so we just want to make sure that the water is going to be just clean clear you know pure water okay so after that, we just want to, we're gonna light it. So I'm using a big, one of the big um, five to seven day candles um, for this. And I'm doing that because you would want to walk around your home um, each day with the candle okay um you want to protect your whole home so you just want to make sure that you cover all of your your home so i mean you can let the candle burn per day or you can do a few hours in a day and then switch it to another room it just depends um you can use multiple candles um if you have a you know a really big house or whatever that's fine um the water is for um it's charging it's charging the candle the stone is is charging on the inside as well you can use your water for protection so just say for instance see these this is like these water bottles right here like i have one on all of my altars in my room i have like 14 altars right all with the water on it but I also have these same like um, glass, um, water glasses or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I have these in every room of the house and it's just protection, protection of water. So once the candle is finished burning and everything like that, you can use the um, water. Um, Put a little bit of the water in each of your protection uh, water um, jugs in your home because I keep I keep water um, in each room and you can tell like I don't have much company but like when company does come over 
if it's somebody that does not have like a good clean energy you can look at the water and see how it starts to like react and it will react sometimes it gets a little darker you know it'll start doing like little things to kind of let you know something not right so I keep my water filled and you know you just want to just add that extra layer of protection to your home also let's see just want to make sure i don't forget to tell you tell you guys anything these are just the same the sigils that i have on here on the candle i tape those on the candle king solomon sigils for weather um for protection from any type of bad weather and for also um to protect your home um to protect the the um everything that's inside your home so i have these two because i want to put these on the windows one in the front and one in the back so what i'm going to do is just um, place them on on the altar probably in front of the candles so that you can all charge together or maybe i'll place it on the side of this this right here so everything can kind of charge up together okay yeah i think that's what i'll do this one we'll put the stone in the middle put these on on either side okay so we are all set so we got the, the protection jar like i said you can put water in your protection jar or you can just leave it as is when i do leave my jars you know as is without water the only thing i do every every few you know days i go and shake shake it up sometimes i'll open it and i blow in it blowing life into it right close it back up and i go put it back on my altar i've never had any problems always have good results so like i said you do what is comfortable to you you know it's not always about the rules of something you can learn how to do something you know watching somebody else do it but at the end of the day take what you learn and make it your own okay so let's see let me make sure I think I told you guys everything yeah I think that's it so we got the jar we got the candle we got the sigils that we're gonna put on the on our um house windows. We got the water that we can place um different jars in our home for added protection. And we got the extra protection herbs that I'm going to fill up the jar kind of halfway with. Alright? And that's it guys.